This was a match to celebrate comebacks. First and most importantly, that of Tom Lockyer, the Luton captain who returned to the very stadium where he so nearly lost his life following a cardiac arrest on a dark day in December. Then, that of Bournemouth, who were remarkable in coming back from trailing 3-0 at half-time to secure a 4-3 victory at the Vitality Stadium inspired by a double from Antoine Semenyo. Their supporters were delirious by the end. Perhaps because their team was so feeble in the first half that this comeback never appeared possible. Yet this turned into a highly entertaining encounter in what was an emotional evening on the south coast. Lockyer wished he could have been on the field with his teammates, though he knows how fortunate he is to be here at all. It was at the Vitality where he was, technically dead, for 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Bournemouth went above and beyond to welcome him back. It is not often an opposition player is chosen for the cover of the match program but they made an exception for Lockyer. He was introduced to the crowd prior to kick-off alongside the four paramedics who saved his life, while Bournemouth's supporters even raised more than £2,000 to pay for buses so that Luton fans could get to this rearranged game. Those supporters thought they had leapt out of the Premier League's relegation zone at the expense of Nottingham Forest, their opponents this Saturday, as they went in at the break. But Bournemouth had other ideas, showing the fight which was lacking in the first half. It took Luton three minutes to take the lead in the original fixture in December when Elijah Adebayo headed home Alfie Doughty's cross. This time, they took nine, though the entire sequence was equal in its simplicity. Jordan Clark's cross was delicately dinked as Tahith Chong was left completely unmarked to head beyond Neto for 1-0. Only Arsenal have scored more headers than Luton this season and Carlton Morris came close to nodding in another cross from Issa Kabore. Bournemouth could have equalised when Luis Sinistera broke through after good work by Dominic Solanke in the build-up, but he was denied by the long legs of Thomas Kaminsky. Instead, Luton made it 2-0 before half-time as Chong played through Doughty, who's played the ball perfectly into the path of Chiodozi Ogbené for a tap-in. Issa Kabore was instrumental in Luton making it 3-0 before the break. He led a counter-attack before teeing up Ross Barkley, played on side by Cook. Playing this match through the pain of a broken nose suffered at Crystal Palace, Barkley walloped the ball into the back of the net. That kick-started a series of songs from the Luton supporters. How they have Rob Edwards and he knows exactly what they need. How they are going to stay up and now we will believe them. From Bournemouth's fans, there were only boos. Their team had been tormented by Chong, Kabore, Doughty and Barkley, who is living in hope more than expectation of an England call-up.
Another who had been hoping to impress Gareth Southgate was Dominic Solanke and he scored to make it 3-1 after skillfully nutmegging Daiki Hashioka with a backheel after 50 minutes. When Ilya Zabanyi then made it 3-2 from a goalmouth scramble, Bournemouth were full of belief and in the ascendancy. They did not have to wait long for their third, Semenyo turning Hashioka into a pretzel as he twisted and turned before scoring beyond Kaminsky for 3-3. Fourteen minutes separated Bournemouth's first and third goals, and now their supporters were signing Andonia Rowler's name. In the 83rd minute, they completed the comeback in full. Semenyo collected Ian Zunnels through ball and smashed it beyond Kaminsky.